Bob. What? <laughs> what, you got a zone you want? Yes. Show me where. Show me where you want it. I don't know. If I don't put it there, it's all my fault. You want it right there? <laughs> Wherever. Trust me, you don't want it Come there, on. but I'll Wherever put it there. Wherever I can hit it. <laughs> See? But I... You know, if you take my hat off, it's going to be a sad show. It will be a sad show. Just be picking my head up, and you're going to have to figure out a way to bake it or gut it and make a fruit salad out of it. <laughs> be very unsightly. Hello, and welcome to How to Boil Water. I'm your host, Sean Dunnell, and Kathy, culinary guru. Doing poorly. No, no, Kathy, no, 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 you don't understand. Baseball is an average of doing poorly. You've got to only occasionally do well, and you can be a star. Oh, really? See, I threw two pitches. You had two opportunities to hit. You hit one of them. That's a 500 batting average. Okay. That's almost 200 points more than the great Ted Williams. Okay. <laughs> All right? So okay. you're, you're on the mark. I'm okay. And if Ted's watching, please, don't take that personally. <laughs> it's all right. But we're cooking today. What are we making? Something chocolatey. Something chocolatey. For chocolate lovers. Mmm. Chocolate. Delicious. We're going to make mocha fudge brownies. Mocha brownies! <laughs> mocha brownies! <laughs> don't you love it? Sorry. Look, you want to hear the Mocha Brownie song? Yes. We're making our Mocha Brownies from scratch. We ain't using a box. Sure, you could take one of these and dress it up. But, you know, I've had it. You can dress it up, but you can't take it out. So, we're going to make it from scratch. Scratch. And where does that term come from? We've talked about it before. Kathy had told me it's a brilliant concept. If it's true, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because it's great cooking folklore. <laughs> because they didn't have paper. They didn't have recipes. And it would be, scratch me out that recipe. <laughs> right? They had paper. They had paper? Yeah. Oh. But you scratch down the recipe. But it must have been like papayas or something. <laughs> what, what was that first, that Egyptian paper? Oh, pa Pepper or something like that. I can't remember. Anyone? This isn't social studies. <laughs> From the floor? Aurelio, you know everything. Papyrus. 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 See, we Not use so papaya. much we use papaya so much, which aid in digestion, but beyond that, I don't know. It's off. It's done. Okay. Making mocha fudgy brownies for fun. So we have flour. We have baking powder. We have eggs. We have butter. We have sugar. We have milk. We have unsweetened chocolate, which we have to put in first. It's two squares. Two squares of unsweetened chocolate. And, of course, you've all had that horrible experience as a child to find the unsweetened chocolate, <laughs> think you've scored something, and you really made a mess of your afternoon. <laughs> How long, Kathy? One minute. One minute. There you go. Ah, yes. Thanks for the nuke box. So, that is melting. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grease our pan. How do you do that? Well, you take butter. Take a paper towel, and you smush it around. Pretty simple. Now this will prevent your mocha chocolatey things from sticking to this. That's right. Because there's nothing more unsightly than serving that to a guest and having to scrape it out of the pan with a, with a sharp knife. Okay, that's ready. Now we have a whole stick of butter. Now we didn't say this was a light snack. This is a dessert. Let it go. Make it a dessert. Deal with it. Have it that way. It's okay sometimes. Right? That's right. Everything in moderation, Kathy. Don't eat the whole tray. Don't eat the whole tray. What At kind least of, today. What kind of butter are you using? We are using good point. Thank you. It's not salted butter. It's plain butter. Because baking is a science. And if you throw some extra salt in there, you could screw up the whole thing. Isn't that true? <laughs> well, it just make it taste bad. Okay. You don't want all that extra salt that's in okay. salted butter. I'm sorry. I was wrong. So, is this melted? Check no, it. more. Okay. That'll be boiling by the time we're done. So, we have the sugar. Now, we need to combine, is a cup of sugar? Yep, you can use the whisk. 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 You know, whisk together. <laughs> the cup of sugar. And the butter is soft. Yeah, see how so soft you know. it is? And what happens is, the whisk turns into a little butter gel. <laughs> it's basically what goes on. Oh, come on. Come on. Look at, this is not... I'm cooperating. There you go. It's the butter that's unruly. All right, well, then throw the eggs in. That'll help. I'm getting it. 
They're combining. All right. I want... Can we check the chocolate? Sure. I don't want it to burn. No, I got it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> at least you're trying to know what I'm doing. A little thoroughly No, please today. intervene at any time. Two eggs we need to add to this. One. <laughs> two. Wing. Mix these in. Beat them in. Beat them in. There you go. Now, How's my technique? Very good. Very good. Isn't that what Should I do this? Your favorite? <laughs> Rotate the bowl as you go. Now, what's going to make the brownies mocha flavored? Coffee. Yeah. I'm going to add some coffee. Now, check the sugar. Or the Which chocolate. is good, because if you don't have enough of a caffeine buzz from the chocolate, the coffee will kick in. Is it soft enough? Yeah. It's okay. soft enough. Now, we're going to add two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Some leftover coffee. You wink at me. Leftover coffee? Yeah. Say you had a nice cup of joe in the morning? That's right. Now you want something to do with it? Mix it into your brownie mix. And add the chocolate. Now we have to add the chocolate. We add the milk now? The milk, chocolate, everything. Half a cup of milk? Okay. Combine? Yep. Stir? Almost frappe. Okay. That's how good I am at this. It's almost considered frappe. Add the chocolate. How much? This isn't chocolate. <laughs> I thought it was cocoa powder for some reason. Oh, Sorry. Dear. There you go. Woo. Melted, unsweetened chocolate. Melted, unsweetened chocolate. Now, look at that. Wow. That's cool. There you go. I'm getting hypnotized by it. All right. You got a lot to do, so keep moving. <laughs> okay. That's the warning from the guru. Okay, that's together. Now combine your dry ingredients. My dry ingredients would be flour. No, don't add. You have to add the baking powder to the flour before you add dry ingredients. How much baking powder? Quarter teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon? Yeah, we want. Which we don't want this? cake brownies. We want fudgy. Well, this what is, exactly does the baking powder do? Maybe we should describe that because I have no idea. It helps to make the brownies rise. It's a leavening. Is this it? Leavening agent. That's that's it. There you go. It seems like such a small amount. How could it have an effect? But I guess it does, Kathy. <laughs> it does. It's a very powerful ingredient. Mix this together? Yep. Combine that? Okay, now fold the... <laughs> Sorry. It's got a... It's like spring-loaded. <laughs> now put it together? You're spring-loaded today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Don't hurt me that way. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, now we got to do the folding technique? Yeah, but I want you to make the frosting. I want you to make the frosting. Okay. okay let me finish this. Whoops. You wiffle ball that. Okay. All right. Now you I'm make going to be frosting. making the frosting <laughs> using a pat of butter, which is basically like a tablespoon. We got some flour in here, right, Kathy? No, it's confectioner sugar. <laughs> no, it's confectionery sugar. And you're just one melted today. square of chocolate. Yes. Maybe it has to do with the prep time, Kathy. Maybe you're just not showing me the care that you used to. <laughs> you're taking me for granted. You think that I'm getting along and I'm knowing things a lot better than I used to, when really I'm still the lost puppy dog I always was. <laughs> start beating. Okay, I'm going to start beating. And then you're going to add some coffee. Look what I've done. To uh, loosen it up. Okay. Oh, boy, that unsweetened chocolate is awful. Four tablespoons? Yes. Mm, one, two. Stop, stop. That's okay. four. That's good. There we go. We'll mix this up. You got the mix in the pan? Yep. We'll put that in the oven. We'll make our icing. And when we come back, what are we doing, Kathy? Uh, we're going to frost the brownies and make another dessert. Mmm, frosting brownies and making dessert on how to boil water when we return, so don't go away. Stay tuned. i got to get this taste of unsweetened chocolate out of my mouth before I pass out. <laughs> Tequila. Is getting healthy on your mind? Dr. Hi. Welcome back to How to Boy Water. Kathy, I feel kind of bad. Why? I'm a little down. Why? It felt like we got a little too zany in that last act, and we didn't explain everything like we should have. I apologize. Yeah, you forgive me. 
your audience. They like it when you're funny, so. Okay. You're out of control. But there is something I think we need to go over. What? The brownies were cooked at 350 degrees for about a half hour. And when they come out, they're done like this. See them? Wonderful. Marvelous. Brownies. Now here's our icing. This is what I was making when Kathy was finishing the brownies because everything got silly. So, probably the best thing to do is put all the icing right in the middle and spread it out, huh? That's a good idea. I think I saw Debbie Fields do this once. It's the uh, dump in the middle and spread theory. <laughs> Originally uh, innovated uh, by, do you know who? No. Copernicus. Copernicus. Yes. <laughs> he came up I with thought it was this. Galileo. Nope. Copernicus. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's what spread okay. nicens about. See how thick this is? Ooh. It's pretty cool. They look great. Chocolatey. mocha -y. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I don't know if you know the answer. And if you don't, that's okay. But how come when they refer to things like coffee, it's mocha, but coffee's coffee? <laughs> mocha? I don't know. It's kind of a blend of cocoa and coffee, right? So I don't know where the M comes in. Mocha. I'll have to look that up. Okay. I'll we'll get look back that up. to you on that one. You know that's all right with me. Okay. Because I know you're a straight shooter, Kathy. <laughs> you wouldn't throw me a curve. I didn't need to be thrown. <laughs> now we're going to be making a chocolate bread pudding. What's the key ingredient? That's right, bread. Mm -hmm. Certain kind of bread you can use, certain kind of bread you don't want to use. You don't want to be using uh, rye bread, garlic bread, <laughs> <laughs> sourdough, uh, and uh, a cinnamon raisin bread might be nice, though. Sure. But we're going to be using pretty much your old... Country white bread. People have often called me that. Country white? <laughs> country white bread. <laughs> what you need to do is you take the country white bread and you break it into squares. That's what happens to the country white bread when they hit the big city. <laughs> what? <laughs> they get broken up into squares? Yeah. Got it. It's that urban life. They don't have to be squares. They can just be any old shape. Any old want. shape, because basically it's going to absorb a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we take this, about how much? About four pieces of bread? Yep, it's about two cups. Totally. Then we have a pan that's greased with some butter, right. just by taking the paper towel and wiping it around like we did before. Sneak it all around, fills out, and even if this looks too big right now, don't worry about it because it is going to soak and kind of get depressed. It's going to absorb Chocolate's a downer. It's Chocolate. a big high in the beginning, but then you crash. And that's what's going to happen to the bread. <laughs> now, to mix this together, we're going to use milk, cinnamon, two eggs, Vanilla, sugar, cocoa, a pinch of salt, and chocolate chips. What goes in first, Kathy? The eggs. The eggs and then the sugar. Egg, one. Egg, two. So the eggs and the sugar need to combine a lot like we combine the flour and the butter. That's right. In the first one. That's usually the process. How much sugar? Quarter cup. Quarter cup, which is, this is a quarter cup measuring cup. It certainly is. Need to be even. Because baking is a science. Things need to be exact. <laughs> Combine them. Okay. Wow, this is a kicking whisk. <laughs> that other whisk we had before was a little... You didn't you like know, that one? No, you like this it one? it didn't have much gusto. Okay. You know why? The handle was feeble. <laughs> okay. It just was like... Mm, yeah, but this has got to... And look at the difference. Look, it's already done. <laughs> A few shakes of lamb's tail and combine <laughs> sugar and eggs. Okay. You can Kay. mix in the milk. Now we mix in the milk. We have a pint. Two cups. Yeah, a pint. Very good. I just Doing read the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> All at once is okay? Yes. Before you, you don't have to mix that in. You can add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Rest of the ingredients. How much cinnamon? Teaspoon. Teaspoon of cinnamon. There you go. Okay. Teaspoon of vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla. Do we have to use this again in anything dry? No. Okay. I asked that before we use the vanilla because it's a liquid. Because <laughs> you don't want to be jamming some vanilla extract into something that is dry. Because it, it has a, a tremendous effect. There you go. Add the cocoa. Cocoa, which is two tablespoons? Yes. Pre-measured. 
the way I like it. <laughs> Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt, which this is a very random version of measuring. Sorry. Everything is so exact with the baking, but a pinch of salt. Pinch. There it is. <laughs> there you go. Now, what happens if you have someone who, say, has very dainty fingers, <laughs> smaller digits? Maybe I have a larger, fatter finger. Does that affect my baking? Probably affects your pinch, definitely. So you should compensate. All right. We should have measured it out. But we needed less than an eighth of a teaspoon. Usually that's the smallest size. So we set a pinch. I'll buy that. Okay, mix, mix it this up. together? Yep. Now this is a custard. Custard is, if you cook that on the stove, it would eventually kind of turn into a pudding. But you're going to pour it over this. And bake custard it. got cooked, but it wasn't in a stove. So you want to mix up really well. You don't want the eggs. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Um, you don't want any of the eggs to be not mixed in. Right, you want to mix in because you get one glob of egg in the wrong spot. And That'll be gross. And now, it's just bad. What's the last ingredient? Last ingredient is our chocolate chips. That's right. Which we have half a cup? Three quarters of a cup. Mm. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. And we just pour this on top of our bread. That's right. Look out, white bread. Here come the chips. <laughs> oh, some hit the counter. Now, can these all sit on top? Oh, you want to mix them around a little bit. I will. I just want to get them in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quit playing. Get some serious bacon going on. Don't okay, mind look this. Look at that. Don't mind that. It's just a mess. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now you know you why I did that, Kathy? Why? Because I don't know if you notice or if you're paying attention. But I had way too much liquid there. <laughs> and now I have a perfect amount. You see that? And I'm getting all the bread soaked. That's not true. Yeah, that is true. And I got the bread soaked now, and I'm moving the chips around. Okay. So you just no, like the egg, you don't, don't want do them all anymore, in one spot. See how the bread starts to get soggy? Right. It starts to break up. You don't want that. Now we pop this in the oven. That's right. How long? You're going to bake it for 30 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> 350. 350. That's right. And what does it look like when it's done? I mean, is it like pudding? You get to see. Is it like bread? Is it's it a like combination. Bread pudding? Bread pudding. So it's, it's kind of like... and cake-like and it's yummy. It's kind of like Patrick Duffy in that old Man from Atlanta show. <laughs> he was half man, half fish. He had those webbed hands. You know what that did for him? He's a hell of a swimmer. <laughs> and when we come back, you're going to see a hell of a bread chocolate pudding. So don't go away. We'll be right back on How to Boil Water. Stay tuned. That's mine. I'm glad that we put that in there, because Batman needs all the plugs he can get. Because that's not enough of an empire going on there. Hello, and welcome back to How to Boil Water. Now, check out our two finished products here. We have our mocha chocolate brownies. Check those out there. Very cool. Very cool. And now we have our chocolate bread pudding. And I'm going to top that with some whipped cream. Woo! Look at that. Oh. Oh, is that heaven? That's heaven in a ball, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. Maybe a little more. Just don't make it excessive. Look at that. Oh, it's got the little dollop going there. Can you see that? Tilt up just a little bit. Just a little more. There you go. Oh, see it? You see it? It's just like the pros. Isn't that neat? Now, if you need the recipe for anything that we've made here today, or in any of the shows, simple procedure. Check the address at the end of the show, right? Then the next thing you check is the show number. That lets you know which show it is. So then that lets us know which show it is. Because you don't want us to send you something Natalie Dupree made, because that would throw you way out of whack. In a perfect world, you wouldn't have to write the number down. But the reality is you do, and that way we get the recipe out to you. Very quick, very easy. Now, also, if there's any recipes that you have, like you got this recipe you think's really cool and you want us to try, send that too, and we'll give it a go. But now I'm going to take some of these brownies over to Lester, because he hurt himself, and, uh, you know, he broke his clavicle installing a VCR. So he needs some brownies. Take care. Hey, Lester, how you doing? I know, I know, the audio video cable. It's very confusing.